Singapore's leaders have joined others around the world and reacted with concern to the unprecedented chaos and violence in Washington, D.C. after protesters stormed the Capitol. Pro-Trump supporters had been hoping to stop Congress certifying Joe Biden as the next U.S. president. Four people died in clashes with police. Only then did Donald Trump promise an orderly transition. But his supporters had already laid siege on the Capitol. A state of emergency has been extended for 15 days. This was the moment protesters breached police lines and forced their way onto Capitol Hill. They broke windows, rampaged through offices, and stormed onto the floor of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The pro-Trump rioters were pumped up and eager for action after Donald Trump's rally near the Capitol. He had repeated his false claims about winning the election and urged them to march to Capitol Hill. We will not take it anymore, and that's what this is all about. And to use a favorite term that all of you people really came up with, we will stop the steal. Rioters grappled with police. Their aim was to disrupt the confirmation of President Donald Trump's defeat. At the time, Congress was meeting to certify Joe Biden's victory in the presidential election. Lawmakers in the building were told to hide in their offices or were taken to secured rooms. I feel secure right now. Uh, I just spoke to some of the Capitol uh, police. Uh, I'm actually over in one of the Senate office buildings. In the shocking scenes of chaos and mayhem, officers could be seen drawing their guns. As violence escalated, one woman was shot and later died. Witnesses say the woman defied police calls to get out of the way before an officer opened fire. During the standoff, at least one Trump supporter entered the Senate chamber. Others tried to break down the House door. Police officers stood guard with guns drawn. Officers locked down the building and fired tear gas to try to bring the situation under control. Uh, we were just told that there has been tear gas in the rotunda and we're being instructed uh, to each of us get uh, gas masks that are under our seats. Police struggled for more than three hours after the invasion to clear out the protesters. The White House then deployed the National Guard. And President Trump finally urged his supporters to go home, but still insisted the election was stolen. This was a fraudulent election, but we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. Police have arrested more than 50 people in what's considered the most damaging attack on the heart of American democracy since the 1800s. Singapore has expressed concern at the deadly turn of events in Washington, D.C. Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien is hoping for a return to peace, calling it a sad day. Mr. Teo, who's also coordinating Minister for National Security, has described the scenes as shocking. Speaker of Parliament Tan Chuan Jin also called the events that transpired unbelievable. Mr. Tan hopes the situation will stabilize and that the rule of law will be respected.